in this video, I'm gonna explain how to use the swing trading feature in the TT black box. So I have opened the Thinkorswim platform and I will be using the on-demand feature, which is essentially paper trading, except I can go back in time and replay the market. Also, before we go any further, if you're probably wondering why some of these boxes are blank like this, it's because it's the weekend. Today's date is April the 11th. It's a Saturday. And for the elements, why is it moving? And also the option activity element right there. We obviously are not getting live data on the weekend. And so our servers automatically purge data for these two elements after two days since there isn't a need to hold on to that old data that really doesn't matter for your trades in the future all right so with these swing trade alerts our algorithms for the tt black box if these alerts don't immediately go in your favor the setup time that these alerts could play out is up to two weeks. I'm not talking about the trade, I'm talking about the setup for this. These are true swing trades. Now, if you enter a trade and it immediately goes in your direction, ride that thing until you feel the need to take profits. With the way this market is now, Always be ready to take profits. With that all being said, with swing trades, and you should already know this if you're trading, but with swing trades, you are at the mercy of macro events that happen in the market. And any macro event that takes place when the market closes could affect your swing trade. Just understand this. So with that out of the way, we will find a swing trade and we'll give it enough time for that two week setup to take place, unless if it goes into profits, whatever, and we'll, we'll play it out. I will show you how I scale in you know, as I take these swing trades and let this trade work. So there's another video in this tutorial list that explains how this feature works right here for the scale in ready. For more, a more in-depth explanation, please watch that video, but I'll briefly explain it here. This feature right here is to help you scale in. If you get an alert and it's green, then basically what it's saying is, okay, now is it okay time to scale in? You still need to do your own due diligence here because this isn't gonna like drop you, you know, right on the perfect entry. No one's ever gonna make a perfect entry, but it's just kind of saying, okay, this range is all right to scale in or you know to enter that trade based off its calculations now for its alert and again you must do your own due diligence before you enter any trade at the end of the day you're the one who is responsible for your own trades this is just a tool this is not financial advice all right so instead of you know scrolling back looking for the swing trades again because i told you that these setups can take two weeks to actually happen before they break out one i usually swing trade a lot is citigroup ticker c so to filter this i would just click on you know the swing trades which will bring up all the swing trades and i'm just gonna filter for citigroup 
and you can see the previous alerts that have came through for the swing trades since our last major update. All right, so we'll go back to March 19th. So I'll pull up my chart and I'm gonna go back to March 19th. This alert triggered at 9.30 a.m. Central Time for a bullish swing trade. <clears throat> so I'll just type that time in. <clears throat> All right, and we'll let it buffer. I'm gonna put it on the 30 minute chart. I'll do a 10 day 30 minute chart and we can see what it looks like. So this is Citigroup, March 19th, 9.30 a.m. Central Time, right here. This alert would have just came through at that time. This button would have been green. Now, disregard these other buttons because in this moment, this is the only thing that we would have had. This would have been our Precious alert. And you're, you will always go off the newest one. And with that newest alert, you'll, you know, basically use this scale and ready button as an indicator. So right here, we get this signal. I pulled up on the chart. I'm like, okay, yeah. After I do my own due diligence, what I would do, and in this video, I'm actually gonna swing it with actual contracts. The day trading one, I just did with shares. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick a contract. <clears throat> and what I'm about to say, I highly recommend. As the creator of the TT Black Box, I know how these algorithms work and the setup that is intended to take place like overall. This is why I'm telling you, the setup could take two weeks for it to work out. <clears throat> so me personally, I always like to have around a month left on an expiration for a contract. So let me check out this April 24th. There's 36 days left. I'm gonna look at it. Eh, looks like crap. Those spreads, too wide. Also too, during the recording of this video, and especially back during this time frame, <clears throat> we had that big pullback in the market, and it threw all the option contracts just out of whack. The spreads are just horrendous. As you can see, this implied volatility is extremely sky high. So by the time you watch this in the future, whenever it may be, hopefully this market is a little more stable with tighter spreads and lower implied volatility. So I'm gonna go back to that next expiration to kind of look, I'm like, okay, that spread looks decent. And that's 29 days left. Let me look back one more. Okay. so. I went back another week, so this would be one, one week less on this expiration period, and those spreads are bad. So you would obviously want to go for this one that had the better spread and actually gives you another week. Yeah, it, it does cost a little more, but buying time is like buying insurance. It's always about peace of mind, especially for real deal swing trades. So I'm gonna click on the ask right here and I'm gonna buy one contract right there. And I could buy, you know, a little out of the money. I don't wanna to get too crazy, but I'm just gonna to try to buy this one. All right, so that got filled at 545. And without turning this into a course on options, 
that number would be you know 545 times 100 since each contract controls 100 shares so i paid 545 dollars you know for that contract so 545 dollars invested so far now just to you know speed this up i'm going to swing it to the open end for the next day it a moment to buffer right here all right so we had a nice run yesterday it, it did pull back right here pre-market but let's see where we're at oh nice okay so we're roughly 25% you know profit that's great there's nothing wrong with taking this right now. That was an easy, easy 25%. But just for, you know, the heck of it, we'll just, we'll keep swinging this. Personally, I would have just took it. That was just way too easy to knock out 25%. <clears throat> so when I am scaling in to any trades, but especially the swing trades, for the swing trades, if a trade is going against me, I will wait for two days of it going against me before I scale in again. That way, I'm not trying to add on additional contracts if it's really just kind of like chopping around in the same range that my entry price is already. Because the point of scaling in is to get a better average. So I'm going to skip ahead to the 23rd, since that's a Friday. <clears throat> okay, so we obviously push down. And let's see where we are currently at. All right, so we're now red. All right, cool. I have plenty of time on these contracts. So I'm going to let this thing run. And I'm gonna skip ahead one more day. <clears throat> All right, so we, we dipped down on that previous day, came up pre-market right here. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so this currently is going against us by a little bit, not, not nothing crazy, but like I said, I'll wait and I'll scale in on that second day that it's going against me. And here we are. So I'll add one more and you can see right here that spread did open up. But I'll add one more. I got filled right there at $498. So $498. And overall we we have $1,043 in this trade for two contracts. So I'm going to skip ahead to the beginning of the next day. We'll see where that puts us. <clears throat> okay, so clearly this had a nice run up and we're, we should be sitting pretty nice, actually. Okay, so here we are. Little, little over 30% profit. Again, earlier in that, that first initial day, swinging it into that following day, and we kind of just got lucky. You know, that setup just happened to work out you know, very soon without that setup taking place over the span of multiple days. And like I said then, I would have just took that easy 25%. So here we are, you know, we I showed you how to scale in when that trade is going against you. 
and this is where we're at. So actually, let me, I'm just gonna skip a little bit of time, I'll skip to lunch time, just to see what it does, where it puts us at for this trade. <laughs> okay, so clearly this thing was on a just bullish run and let's see what that, those profits are now. Okay, there you go. In just those, that, those, that four hours, I skipped right there in time. On that same day, we're now 60%. I absolutely would lock this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sell these contracts. Locked in 60% profit for that swing trade. And this is exactly how I use the swing trade alerts on the TT black box. It's all about scaling in and never going into your entries with your entire position, position size or dollar amount that you want to take in that trade. Break your trades up. I recommend breaking it up 10 times. That may sound crazy, but I promise you it works.